Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption that can share with us news updates. If you can help us to eradicate armed Fulani Hesmen from Southwest, it's a welcome development. Nigerian military, there's Boho. Yes. Now, the Nigerian military high command has expressed its readiness to work with the Yoruba activists. Sunday Adeyemo, popularly called Sunday Boho, to assist them, the security agents, in eradicating killer henchmen from the forests of the southwest. Yes, say so they are willing to support him, you know, to eradicate this uh, henchmen, this killer henchmen, armed Fulani henchmen from the southwest, terrorizing southwest. The Nigerian army, the military said they are willing, they are ready to do that. Yes. Now, talking about uh, the spokesman of the Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Boba, who made a statement and said the military will collaborate with the people to make sure that peace is restored to any part of the country. Yes. He said the, the country required, you know, collective effort. To combat the insecurity or security challenges facing it. Yes. So he said that if what Iboho said, talking about uh, Major General Boba Edwards, yes, he said if what the Yoruba nation agitator said about armed full and henchmen, how we will tackle the menace of these full and henchmen is true, said the military. Will be willing to partner with him so they will be ready to work with him to flush these miscreants these hoodlums this terrorist out of Europe enclave yes that's what he said so they're willing to work with him that is it said so in as much as he's himself is ready to work with the military so they are ready to work with him yes because if he's talking about you know Removing the military completely, alienating the military, he said they will not tolerate that one because it's against the constitution. But working with them, say so they, they accept him to work with them to flush out the terrorists. Yes, so it means the military, they are saying that they are frustrated. Yes, say so working with Sunday Boho, they are willing to work with him. To the careful and henchmen. You will know where the full and henchmen are. This military, they know where they are. They know them. So, but you have seen now that uh, Ariel Obama is the president. That's why the military is saying, oh, they work with Sunday Boho. Because his brother is the president. His kinsman is the president. Now they work with him to flush out the armed Fulani henchmen from the southwest forest. Yes. So let somebody make this kind of statement from the southeast that he would deal with Fulani henchmen. He would chase them away. He will, you know, flush them out. You see the reaction of the military. You know, because his kinsman is the president, that's what they say. Oh, we work with him. We work with him to flush out Fulani henchmen. I see they don't know where they stay. They had that. They know where they congregate. The military. They know everything. But these Fulani people, they know it. You see? So, but because now the Nigerian chief of army staff is a Yoruba man, they have seen it now. And so they think that, oh, they will do anything. You see, if you like, partner with anybody, the Fulani henchmen, they have the backing of the military. So even this Edward that is even saying this thing. Is aware of that the the, 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 the the military, the army, they are backing this Fulani man. But they can't do anything about it. Because they allow the Fulani ethnic stock to have upper hand in the military. Yes, they are there. For eight years, Buhari stayed. He was actually putting his people strategically in the military, in the army, everywhere. So they have gained ground. If you like, Say military will do this, military will do that. It's, it's not true, it's not going to work. Who are you going to use to do it? Are you going to employ civilians to do the work of the military? No. You see the same military, say the same army, say the, 
that we used to do whatever I want to do. And these people, they are, you know, loyal to this ex man. They are working with them. Yes. They are working hand in glove with the terrorists. Simple. It's been long. It has been dictated that military hierarchy, they are supporting terrorism for various reasons. Yes. Stemming from the fact that, look, this. They are their kinsmen. They have the same agenda. Apart from the fact that they want the war to, you know, perpetuate so that they will continue to make the nation dry through bogus military allowances and military budgets. That is it. So it's their kinsmen. They have the same agenda. And that is to conquer. And that is to carry out jihad. That is to undermine other regions. That is to suffocate other ethnic challenges. That is to take over the country. That is the agenda. So even they are the ones who even carry out this agenda, but they are using these guys to do it. It's simple. It's simple. The Fulani elites, they are behind all these things. They know it. Forget about what they are doing. That is, you know, you know, they are trying to deceive the world. About. Okay? They know all these things. They are the ones orchestrating it. The elites. Yes. The political class from that side, from that tribe, they are the ones doing these things. That's why they always come and defend them. We have been saying it. The current governor of Bauchi State, Bala Mohammed, said it openly. Nobody did anything. Say, look, the Fulani henchmen, they have right to bear AK-47, to defend cattle, to defend cow from being rostered. And people, vigilante groups, vigilante, formed to defend their territory he said they don't have the the, the, the the law did not back them up to have ak-47 yes but the fulani henchmen will have the right the law will back them up to hold ak-47 to defend cow defend cow not human beings they're not defending they're only defending cow but those who are defending human beings and properties and then you know, everything say no law backing them to hold ak-47 and the people attacking them are holding AK-47. So what's happening? So that is it. They feel that, oh, now Tinebu is in charge. It will be easier. To nowhere. They feel any everywhere. They have taken over. So they said, oh, Ibu will work with you. No wahala. We are watching because uh, it's obvious that even they are not afraid. Even as Tinebu is, is the president, they are still attacking the Southwest like before. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. The attack continues. The devastation continues. The carnage continues. And that is it. So the military said they want they want to work with Ibuho. Fine. 